Hello, welcome. This is Big Al from Dino Flash Videos. I'm coming at you, uh, by the way. Uh, God bless everyone. I'm coming at you with my uh, Galaxy 4 phone. I've, I've had the iPhones uh, since they first came out. Since the first iPhone. So it's a big change that I, I jumped to the Galaxy phone. But uh, the Galaxy, I love the screen. And the video camera is phenomenal. Anyway, uh, my last video, you'll notice that I said we got a problem. And I cut the, the camera quickly because I don't want to be uh, making videos while I'm driving down the highway on the interstate. So uh, this is what you do when you're a tuner. When you got a problem with the car, this is how you track it down. Step number one, boost leak test. Check all the boost leaks. No boost leaks. Check number test number two. Check compression. Make sure you're dealing with good compression. So we, we tracked it down and we found out that the... Uh, the Aquamist here was not spraying properly and we were getting a um, boost cut condition. That's why the car was breaking up. So here in my car, I have the Aquamist installation. It's the old Aquamist kit. And right now we're gonna install a, a trigger wire here. Um, we, we, we repaired, I believe, we repaired the Aquamist kit. And I'm going to, um, we're gonna install a, a wire. It's kind of hard to tape. And, Install wires at the same time. We're going to install a grounding wire here um, on the door on the door knocker, door striker, and then we're going to open up this Aquamist box and and we're going to open it up and then this is the. Uh, This is the uh, old Aquamus version 8A. I don't know if anyone's even using this box, so probably everything I'm going to tell you right now is totally inapplicable to your situation. So probably most people will just have to disregard this. So let's look at some of these um, wires that we have here. We have uh, trigger, that might be a good one, and we have FIA2 trigger. We have uh, MPS, we have a lot of things, so let's just go with trigger. That'll be a good one to use. Um, it's supposed to be a blue wire, it's not utilized. And um, that's coming down. Um, that's the one, two, three, four, fifth one down, and it's a blue wire. So one, Two, three, four, fifth wire down. That's the fifth wire. Looks like for whatever reason somebody used the green wire in mine. That's all right. It all work. It's all good. That's supposed to be sensor. One, two, three, four, five. The next one will be dimming. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So it's gonna be that wire right there. That's the one we gotta trigger. And we hit that that trigger with the ground, then then that's gonna activate the Aquamus. Now there's our, uh, let me get the camera in on this. And that, did you notice that? When I hit that, that activated the Aquamus, and that immediately stalled out the car. So that means the Aquamist was activated because when I hit that, it immediately flooded out the car. So let's let's go back and that's uh, what we're gonna do here because uh, when you do that, I have a big Aquamist nozzle. There's a lot of Aquamist spray. So what can happen is you can literally flood out the motor and you can, uh, let's turn the car off, the ignition off. We had the car idling, and then we sprayed Aquamus, and the car shuts off because I'm spraying a massive amount of quantity of alcohol. So what we're do right now is I'm going to crack the throttle fully wide open, completely wide open. I'm going to turn the key on, neutral, and try to start the car. That's clearing out the flooding condition, and the car comes back to life. Look at the Wow. 
Um, anyway, now the Aquamus. Aquamus should be primed. Primed. We just primed it, and it should be um, ready to go. Now, uh, uh, some of the newer Aquamus kits, um, just for um, reference to other people who may be using them, they have a little uh, jumper for testing. You don't need to hook up the ground wire and hit the trigger and go through all that rigmarole. You have a little jumper switch. I have one of the more primitive systems. But this Aquamus kit, I swear by it. I have this uh, converter over here, the fuel injector converter. It converts it from the pulse width of the injector to the duty cycle of the Aquamus. It was a very linear progression. And then it has the, uh, the spray valve, which I'm gonna show you right now. That acts kind of like a fuel injector, <coughs> which we have mounted right there. Which, uh, really is starting to rust a little bit. I got maybe, maybe I gotta polish that off a little bit. Anyway, that acts as a fuel injector, and then I got my two big nozzles right there, and check the alcohol. There she is. Rock and rolling. Anyway, with this uh, with this uh, uh, chapter of uh, tuning 101 under our belt, we have um, what we've done is is we've encountered a problem. We went through the basic diagnostic steps, which were boost leak tests, compression tests, and then we found out the Aquamus wasn't working. We, rectify the problem, we fill up the system, we prime it. Now we're back in business, and then later on we're gonna do a full pull and verify that everything's working good. Right now I'm waiting for my transmission to come back from Andrew Tech in uh, Maryland. My, um, this is a stock transmission car. I have a special transmission coming that I used before with long gears. As soon as that comes back, we're going to the track and where we intend to uh, have this car going into the low tens very soon. God bless everyone and have a good day.